Hey, hi everyone. My name is Amit. In this video, we are going to talk about various career path. We are also going to talk about various career option with Salesforce. And uh, the career path that we you will choose definitely is going to boost your career, and that is going to take your career up to the next level. So let's quickly start with the career options, and then we will talk about two or three Salesforce career path. So whenever you are starting with the Salesforce, you have various career options you can choose like as a salesforce administrator you can choose as a salesforce developer you can also be a salesforce consultant salesforce architect you can also go with some salesforce marketing professional you can go with sales service professional or you can choose a salesforce business analyst role so these are some overview of all the career options that is available now let's quickly talk about a very brief, briefly about each and every and what each role consists and uh, what kind of a person if they are having or if they are there at a particular level what kind of role they are playing with their job so when we talk about salesforce admin so salesforce admin is a person who actually does the things with the help of a point and click tool provided by salesforce so that means they don't write much line of code definitely if there is requirement they might write some sort of code but most of the admin is there out out there who are basically completing a requirement with the help of a point and click tool provided by salesforce like flow builder there is a process builder workflow rule and uh, approval process so there are many point and click tool available by salesforce and even though they can go ahead and install some pre existing solution that are there available in the marketplace of salesforce which is known as app exchange and when we talk about salesforce developer so salesforce developer are the person who complete or we can say that who does develop the thing with the help of some coding steps they also try to invent some sort of new algorithms they try to enhance the existing algorithm that are there out there in the market and when we talk about salesforce consultant salesforce consultant is a person who is a combination of both salesforce admin and salesforce developer that means the consultant does know which requirement can be achieved with the help of a point and click tool and which requirement we need to have a developer to complete that part of requirement and uh, consultant is more like working with the closely with clients to uh, take the requirement from them and then suggest what should be the best possible solution for their requirement and when we talk about salesforce architect so that is a senior level position and uh, to become a salesforce architect you must need to have a very good salesforce knowledge salesforce platform knowledge but yeah either if you are a salesforce developer or if you are a salesforce admin you can be a salesforce architect there is no hard and rule like if you are a developer then only you can be a salesforce architect and then there are few more roles that i discuss like uh, marketing professionals that like if you are very good at salesforce uh, not salesforce if you are very good at uh, marketing the things you are very good at uh, doing the marketing of a product you are, are very good at selling up a product you can choose your career as a salesforce marketing professional and then there are two different role one is for salesforce uh, sales and service professional so sales and service like sales is like if you are very good at pitching up your uh, pitching is very good and you are uh, very good at presenting some sort of products uh, in front of the client you can definitely choose a product uh, sorry choose a career in a sales and you can also choose a career as a service representatives where you need to connect with the customers uh, talk to them what their problem is and then provide them the good solution or optimized solution of their problem and then we have a very uh, new I'll, i can say that not new but uh, we have another role which is salesforce business analyst that role is working with the clients from the first day of their role and they are taking the requirement and then they are uh, explaining that requirement to the development team so this role is basically the role which act as a mediator between the client and the development team so they take the requirement from the clients and then they send the requirement or they explain that requirement to the development team so that they can go ahead and implement that requirement so these are the various career options that you can choose and now let's quickly talk about the various career path that you can have 
so if you are starting a sales force you might have question like uh, what career option you should choose either a sales force developer admin sales force ba or marketing professional so if you are starting your career as a sales force admin that means you are very good at uh, doing the things with the help of uh, the available tools that are out there you can definitely choose your career as a sales force admin and then you can advance your career with the help of a sales force consultant and then after having a or can say that reaching at a consultant role you can also think of a becoming a sales force architect yes you heard it correctly sales force architect so to become a sales force architect you no need to have a hardcore developer as per my opinion if you are a very good sales force admin you can be a very good sales force architect but yeah this is a very high level position that we discussed and then after you can either go a sales force project manager senior project manager those are also very senior level positions that we are not targeting in this video and then this was the first path starting from sales force admin ended up to the sales force architect now if you are very good at Uh, working as a development part you are very good at inventing the new things you are very good at uh, looking up into the existing algorithms and then you wanted to spend your time come up with some optimized solution you can definitely start your role with salesforce developer and then again from the sales starting from salesforce developer you can also go with the path which is salesforce consultant again you can also be a consultant you can also interact with the client know their requirement provide the best possible solution and then after you can go to the salesforce architect again so yeah admin and salesforce developer both can be the salesforce architect okay and then after again the positions come that we just discussed salesforce project manager and senior project manager so this was the second path now let's talk about another path which is salesforce business analyst so you can also start with the salesforce analyst and act as a mediator between your team and your, your client get the requirement understand what requirement is uh, what requirement is and what sort of uh, output that client wants and then propose the solution or you can also discuss the solution with your salesforce team so that you no need to be a perfect guy for that you can also definitely you can every time discuss with your team your team lead project manager and what will be the particular solution or optimized solution for that problem and you can definitely go with salesforce ba role this was the third path and then again we discuss few more options right like we have marketing professionals and the sales and service professionals so these are the separate path you can take up so if you as we discussed if you are very good at sales and marketing the things you can always go with sales and marketing path and then again if you are very good at convincing the customer and uh, listening their problem resolving the problem and giving a very good solution or optimized solution you can definitely go with the service path so these are the some various path that i have and before i sign off basically these career options and career path are my personal opinion there is nothing related to salesforce site or anything and yes before i sign off please do like share subscribe the channel and stay tuned for a surprise that is coming on your way thank you bye bye